So I've been talking to New Air via email for a little while, and they said, hey Sean, we noticed that you're uh, kind of a big fan of, of vino, of wine. And I said, oh yeah, you know, 10 years ago, I got really into craft beer. My buddy Nick and I had a web series called Beer Me Out, kind of a comedy beer review channel, way before anything else I really did online. Social! But then a few years ago, I visited Napa, and then Sonoma, and then recently, the Willamette Valley in Oregon, and I kind of slowly became obsessed with vineyards, and wine culture, and the process of making wine, and, and taste testing wine, and taste testing wine, and ta- <laughs> You get it. The alcohol. So New Air said, okay, Sean, we can help you with that. We can make you feel and look like even more of a professional who enjoys wine. But am I strong enough to... It's definitely not how you're supposed to open this. <laughs> Damn. You know how some things you own, you just feel cooler for owning? That's gonna be, that's gonna be this. <laughs> I just titled this video, How Not to Open a Box. This thing holds 33 bottles of wine, or what I like to call a Wednesday night. <laughs> that story was absolutely wooden nickels. What do you guys think? Okay, so much like these other kind of little appliancey tech videos I've been doing, I'm not getting paid to make this video whatsoever. So this model though, this is the New Air Shadow Series 33 bottle dual temperature wine fridge. Oh wow. Right? Wow. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's tempered glass, and then I was reading about how the upper is kind of like the warmer bottles and the bottom is the cooler bottles. Okay. Yeah, normally you can do it, like two temperature controls. Yeah, this is dual temperature. To. Yeah. Feel how fun it is to open the shot. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, there's blue light. <laughs> For the top, I'm gonna do 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Hit this, and then I'm gonna set the lower to 50 for my white wines. It's also really helpful in the instruction manual. They just give you like the desired temps, like what you should be doing, as if you're someone newish getting into wine, so you don't look like a dumbass. So I've got my wine that we got delivered from Elk Cove in Oregon. One red, one white. <laughs> look at how cool the blue light is. So I'm gonna put the red up here, and the white right here. Just a simple brute for like those Brunchy Sundays, a Prosecco, probably my favorite type of wine to drink is a Prosecco. Put that down here as well. And then just for the bit of it, because I like some warm, and sometimes people might enjoy it a little chill. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down with the white as well, because I control my own destiny with this wine fridge. <laughs> go ahead and get cold. Look how tempered and just like mirrored this thing is. <laughs> What's up guys? And then when you really kind of go in there, you can see the bottles, it's like a subtle blue. But other than that, it's a mirror. So, use some tempered glass cleaner on this thing. My mom would be so proud of me. No fingerprints. Streak free, that's me. I'm seriously obsessed with this thing. <laughs> I don't feel cool enough to own this. Okay, I'm gonna let the wines chill in there and then we're gonna crack it, see how crispy and cold it is, and then do an appropriate eating segment of the vlog. You get it, you get it. I don't. Do you see a resemblance at all from this bottle from Dundee, Oregon, and you. Oh. So there's kind of an iconic spot on North Orleans here in River North, like down the street from my apartment called Club Lago. It's supposed to have like some of the best Italian food. Lana, you want some Italian food? Do you pick up orders for food? Yes. Awesome. Did you order already? Or you order yeah, already? I called already, yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.
So for today's food video, I thought I would get the dish that kind of got me into Italian food. The one thing when I would go out to eat as a kid, my favorite restaurant, DeLuca's, would have baked masticcioli. So today, I really never get it. Probably since I was like 15, I've had it three times. So today, the childhood staple, baked masticcioli from Club Lago for the first time. Sean's first time eating. Ooh. Bag bread, pure whipped butter, cutlery, and then the iconic, these are very big in Italian cuisine, the cylinder that they pinch and put all your food in. Two different entrees today. One of these is for Allie. And it would be this one. Can you guess what she got? That, my friends, is carbonara. And it looks very good. Let's get Allie's natural reaction. And that does look really good. And then here's my reveal. Also, do I realize that the sushi sweatshirt doesn't make any sense for this video? Yeah, but I like it, okay? This one was so <laughs> baked masticcioli. Do a spin for him. Do a spin for him. Wow. I don't even want to take it out of the thing. I'm just going to eat it out of this because I want to keep the blanket of cheese warm on a cold winter's day. They were helping me pronounce it just a little while ago, and I hope I get it right. Masticcioli. Mastacholi. It's Italian, right? <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> and then obviously, like we talked about, it only makes sense to have a little drinking wine as opposed to what? Who just looks at wine? Some red wine with our mastacholi. Small pour. <laughs> so since I filmed that first part of the video that you just watched, it's actually been a couple days and I've been using the wine fridge. I moved it over into my office area and it just looks so good with everything. The dual temperature top and bottom is so clutch. It looks awesome in there. I love the tempered glass. Once again, the company is paying me zero dollars to make this video. I'm just a huge fan of it. It's awesome and it's linked below if you do want one. And the company did say that if anybody uses my promo code, my link, everything down below, 10% off your wine fridge. So if you do want one, if it's something you've been in the market for and you want that clean look in your place and you're a wine person, dude, I'm giving you options. This wine, by the way, Other People's Pinot, and this is from that valley in Oregon I just went to, Willamette. Did I get it right, finally? Dundee, Oregon. Cheers. It's actually really good. Caught it. That's the perfect temp for red, because it's not, I don't like when a red wine is like, hot. Whoa, yours is like baked. Like it looks like it was baked in that. Let's try it together. Ooh, my gold fork. We're getting gold cutlery for a wedding, so it's no big deal. Half face Whoa. girl, half face girl. I know. We're taking up the full screen. <laughs> it's my giant dome. Cheers. Cheers. Like a wave of nostalgia. Interesting. In a good way. Yeah. I love that baked cheese. Mm. Don't forget to bring a towel. When you get out of the water, you need to dry off right away to avoid catching a cold. The fun thing for me with getting that wine fridge for New Air sending that, which is amazing, is like getting a gift like that. I can start to get really excited about collecting wines because from before, you know, in a small apartment, like there's nowhere really to put them, like just stacking them kind of on a shelf or whatever. But having a dedicated wine fridge, not only for space, but then also for like be being geeked about like going to valleys, going to places and getting a case of wine and then having a place to like store it and have people over and try it. It really like ups the, the production of both what it looks like and then also how excited I am. If it's a production, you know, a vein on screen person's gonna be excited. <laughs> Mm. This is so close to the one I had in Deluca's growing up. Like, I don't know what it is about masticcioli noodles. Like, they're basically penne, but with the meat sauce and the ridges on the noodles and that baked cheese. I would talk to people when I got out of my hometown and I would say masticcioli like when I traveled, and people did not know what the term masticcioli meant. They're like, what are you talking about? I was like, I know. And then Club Lago, right on there, one of their most popular things, 19 bucks for this, masticcioli. As a kid, it was Diet Coke and Mastacholi and just endless refills. And now I can actually indulge in a little solid red wine, which I'll be honest, 
the back and forth from this, like holding this and not having to put it down two handed. Oh, it's really nice. It's so much that you could share this with a few people. Get a bunch of stuff, Sunday dinner style, and share it. Feels like Sunday dinner to me. Just a lot of people yelling and talking with their hands. If you're not used to it, could be a lot to handle. Also, a quick super thanks when you click the dollar sign on the videos. People donate to the vlog. Darcy Deming, thank you so much for donating. Benjamin Braun for uh, kind of catalyzing a catalyst for an episode coming up in December. Thank you to you. Bonita Yonasik, friend, fan of the show. Love you, thank you. If you want a shout out to video, tip the show. Appreciate you. You want that like cheese ooze and like a lot of the meat to kind of like stick to it. It's oddly refreshing. That's true. It's very refreshing. I was excited to be able to put these clips in too because when Allie and I were in Sedona, we went to this Italian restaurant just outside of our resort that people were raving about. And I got this like lasagna, like the, the mama's lasagna. You know when you see it like boxed on a menu and it says it's like the grandmother's recipe and our waiter was saying people traveled from Phoenix like hours driving just to have dinner there, eat it and drive back. I got that lasagna at this place. I had to document it. Best lasagna I've ever had. Damn, this fire thing is sick. But if you're in Sedona, I recommend it. That was just solid. Not really like normally just a plain butter and bread at the table, because especially when you know you're having a lot of pasta, but I kind of want to try it with the offset spatula. It just goes with it. Do you guys have a go-to Italian dish at like a family-run Italian restaurant like this. Also, when you eat pasta like this, do you try to jab seven noodles like me? <laughs> Never just eating a couple noodles and you just go like this? When it's a little chilled, it's so much more refreshing. Can I try your carbonara? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. A little carbonara? Mmm. Yeah, it's so creamy. Is that bacon in there? Goodbye. It's gonna take me three nights to eat. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I was so pumped to unbox that wine fridge, show it to you guys, and just get geeked about it in my own life, truly. And then to share a meal that meant a lot to me growing up. So if you've got nostalgic meals like this, hit me with a comment. I love chatting with you guys. I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. We got some awesome recipe videos coming up on the vlog, so check back soon and have a great Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you. And if you think it's weird to eat Italian food on Thanksgiving, then tell your family members to go to hell. <laughs> Love you, be good to each other. So cheesy. I think the only thing better than this wine fridge is when, when Allie opens that refrigerator for the purified water, if that was just wine. I'll take a wine fountain. Wine fountain, please. Like a uh, Hawaiian punch one in Mr. Deeds. That's Hawaiian punch. He adores Hawaiian punch. Wow!